Sausage. Hello. Uh, welcome to Royal Mars and Coaster Dad. Welcome to our hometown, which is Edinburgh. We're in Edinburgh today, and we're going to check out the Edinburgh Dungeon. And we're also going to check out the build-up of Edinburgh Christmas. Edinburgh Christmas. It's a big. Well, you tell us what it is. Well, it's a giant fun fair, pretty much. Yeah, they're building up our fun fair. They're building up <coughs> our Christmas market. We'll show you a bit of that before we come back in a few weeks mm -hmm. to go on all the rides, right? Yes. But first and foremost, our local dungeon, we've never been in it, Edinburgh Dungeon. Let's go in it. London and you've been to um, the York Park and sorry if it's a bit loud we've got a lot of buses going past. Baz, give us your review of the Edinburgh Dungeon of when you saw the buses gone. Okay. So, so my review of the Edinburgh Dungeon was just great. It, it's like we did have a horrible time, it's great. Yeah, we had a really horrible time, but that's what yeah. you meant to have, isn't it? Yeah, a horrible time. What were some of your favourite scenes? Um, I liked the witch scene. Yeah, we had a different witch scene from what we normally have. If you've been to the London Dungeon, the York Dungeon, I assume some of the others, the witch scene works in a certain way. It works completely differently here, so you haven't seen it. There is another scene that takes some of the witch scene elements. Oh yeah, by the way, this is going to be full of spoilers, so if you don't want spoilers, don't watch this video. Yeah, do not. Just don't look at this one. We had the judge scene early on, a lot of fun, pretty standard, right? Yeah. And then we had the witch scene came very early, that was next, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, that was very nice. And then after that, yeah. uh, I'm starting to forget the order too. We had the torturous scene, which was another classic, but very different was Sawney Bean's Cannibal Cake. How yes. was that? Wait, there was cannibals and uh, there was this big dead body uh, up in the top left corner and he was just like, ha it was a mannequin having a lot of work. It's face. pretty grim, pretty gruesome. Yeah, and that was a little movie as well. Yeah, I really, really like that scene, very different from a lot of other um, dungeons we've been in this year, like a really unique scene. Another unique scene was Birkin the Birkin Hair, which again has elements of some of the stuff we've seen in the London one, but it's done differently. Um, there's no plague doctor here, you have a, um, you have the medical school scene instead well, of the plague, on, doctor. plague doctor. Well, that's it, okay, I take that back. So the plague doctor scene is an entirely different type of scene from the one in London, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, sorry, the one in York that you see. Yes. So yeah, everything's a bit jumbled up, everything's a bit different. So if you've been to other dungeons, this is a good one to come to because it's got a completely different set of scenes and scenes that you think you know what they're going to be are done in a different order in a different way. But all the way through, it was really, really good. I think and so. And then at the end, we die. We did die at the end <laughs> on the, uh, there's a fun ride. If you're not 1.4 metres, you can't go. If you're close to 1.4 metres, I'd wait until you're 1.4 oh, to come and along. Also, and also, if you're pregnant, yeah, well, if you're pregnant, I'd wait until afterwards to come along, that's for sure. Yes. But yeah, I've had a great time at the Edinburgh Dungeon. Let's go and look at um, Edinburgh Christmas getting set up. Yeah. Okay. So here we are near the Scott Monument on Princess Street Gardens and as you can see trucks have arrived I think this might be in Miami but we'll see a bit hard to tell when it's all packed up yeah. you see much Baz? 
Um, yes. Oh, no. Baz, what do you think of this one? Helter Skelter. Amazing, it looks so good. So yeah, that is going up at the moment. Looking good. I want to go on that when I'm doing the Christmas Eve. Okay, well maybe next week or the week after we'll come down here, we'll try out the rides. Oh. Wait for it to build up. This wheel will be lighting up in a few weeks, but I believe there's an even bigger observation wheel coming this year, which might be located on one of the other areas, which would be George Street. Um, but you can just see over there, over the top of the hoardings, where some of the other attractions will be being put in, some of the Christmas market, which all gets put along this part of Princess Street. But let's take you over to St Andrews Square now, see what's in there. So this is St Andrews Square, which is just off of Princess Street, and... It's been less used in recent years because there had been some controversy in Edinburgh about how much it was getting torn to shreds during the Edinburgh Christmas and then having to be rebuilt for half the year in terms of the grass and the gardens. And Edinburgh residents and uh, people who work down in this part of town do like to use the gardens. So we'll have to see how much it gets used this year, but it may be that, again, like last year, I believe, it wasn't particularly used as part of Edinburgh's Christmas. But historically, this is where the ice rink used to be. So the last area to look at is George Street here, which I'm in the middle of, one end to the other. And they often put Christmas stuff here. They normally close part of the street. And in fact, part of the street down there is closed. I'll just turn you around to show you that. So yeah, you can just see the barriers down there. And as you've seen down there and behind me, there are some trees that have got Christmas lights on now. So yeah, Baz, I'm hoping that we might have some bigger rides come back this year. There, there's often been a Starfire. I've heard there's a very tall Ferris wheel coming. It's got an amazing lighting package. What kind of things do you like doing at the uh, Edinburgh Christmas event? I like uh, going on some of the rides. Um, I also like, sometimes they do an ice skating thing at St Andrews. Yeah, there's an, often an ice skating rink. Sometimes it's on George Street, sometimes it's at St Andrews. It has to be cold enough. And they have a kiddie fun fair, don't they, in Princess Street, as well as some of the bigger rides, like Techno Power, which you'll have seen us go on earlier in the year. We went, we went on Techno Power, didn't we, at the um, Meadows Festival Carnival. Yeah, but we found out it was good. It was really good, so we might go on that again. But yeah, there's a kiddie section, there's a big Christmas market where you can get German... Christmas goods, all that kind of fun stuff. Sausage. 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 Chocolate. Sausage. Chocolate. Chocolate. Hot wine. So, yeah, we look forward to all of that. But right now, we've had a great time at the dungeon. We've had a great time looking around Edinburgh. We're going to get home, have a warm up, but we will see you next time on. Roll the bath and. Coaster Dad. See you next time, folks. Bye. Bye.